For many, she was the voice that got us through the pandemic. Pluto, the talking dog, passed away last week at the age of 15 and a half. Her human two-legged mom joins us now, Nancy White. Nancy, first of all, our deep condolences to you on the loss of your beloved friend. Thanks very much. You know, for those who don't know Pluto, tell us a little bit about how she got her start talking to people. What gave you the inspiration? Well, what, originally what gave me the inspiration was some Yahoo out on the West Coast who was buying up all the toilet paper, packing it in the back of his truck and selling it on Amazon. So I used to do little talking videos with Pluto. So she had some things to say about that. And my friends convinced me to make it a public post. And then it just kind of went crazy. And she did go crazy. I mean, she had she a lot of, crazy. and she had a lot of great advice for people through the pandemic and after the pandemic as well. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the witticisms uh, and wisdom that she shared with people. Well, she, she tried to help guide people to, um, to distract their thinking boxes and maybe not spend so much time on the 24 sevens and show some compassion. There was, you know, it, it got a little, she opened her own university, Pluto Living University, which was uh, for anybody who wanted to major in random stuff and nonsense. And she um, really talked about anything. She did dad jokes. She, she told people how to keep their opinions to themselves. She taught people how to recognize uh, the difference between actual medicine and social medicine. Mm. Uh, they're, they're, they're really the subject lines were, went in every direction. But a lot of it was great advice. And I think it helped a lot of people, uh, including myself, uh, to sort of see the lighter side of all these crazy adjustments we were making. Exactly. And, you know, I know she's affected a lot of people because I look. I looked at her Instagram account, not even her YouTube uh, channel, and she had like 115,000 people following her on Instagram. Um, what have you heard from people uh, since you've had to tell them the sad news that you know Pluto has left us? It was tough to tell them. Mm. Um, sorry, I think for most people, they're just they feel like she was. She was really part of their everyday life. She was, you know, a lot of people said, you know, the first thing I did in the morning was I checked to see if, you know, what, what did Pluto have to say for the day? And, and um, I think a lot of them just, they miss a place where, you know, on uh, she was on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, and there were over a half a million people that uh, followed her on those different, uh, those different social parks as she called them mm -hmm. and i and one of the things as somebody who has consumed a lot of social media as a, a professional artist that is in the social media space uh, her social media channels were just always positive people were just genuinely kind to each other uh, they shared a laugh they supported each other anybody that was having a difficult time and i think it was it was a just a, a kind place to spend time with an enormous amount of humor. And I think that's really, and, and a lot of people now are just, you know, they they were so afraid that I would take the channels down and they're hoping that I'll still come by and they're, 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 they're grieving. They're, they're grieving along with, uh, along with my family. Yeah. Well, I know it's been incredibly tough on you this last week, week and a half, uh, Nancy. And, you know, she left quite a legacy, um, uh, yes. of positivity. Um, as I said, Pluto is that bright light in the universe and she will always remain there for us. Thank you so much for sharing her with us and for talking about her with us today. Thanks for checking in, Caroline. I really appreciate it.